Okay, we're back. And the next topic for this chapter is to talk about variables and assignment statements. So in our last uh, screencast session, we talked about values and, and objects and the different types of numbers. Um, and in this lesson, we're going to take that a step further because sometimes uh, when you have an object, uh, you'll want to refer to that object over and over again in your program. And so when we do that, many times it's useful to be able to give an object or a value a name so that we can refer to that name again and again. And the names uh, that we use are often uh, descriptive of what the, what the values actually stand for. Um, for example, if, if we were going to have a string, val uh, a string object, uh, and let's say that that string is Brad, uh, we might want to give that um, a name of first name. Or if we have a floating point object, let's say 3.97, we might want to refer to that by the name GPA. At least we might hope that's what our GPA would be. Okay, so the names that we assign to objects we call variables. Another way of thinking about names is, uh, just by an analogy, is to think of them as a sticky note. So you've got, uh, in your dorm room or your office, you've got all kinds of uh, objects on your desk and on your shelves and, and, and lying around everywhere. And you might think of assigning names to these objects that were visible by taking those little yellow sticky notes and putting them on uh, all the objects in your room. So you might uh, write computer on a, on a yellow note and stick that to your computer. And you might write bed on a note and stick that on your bed and so on. And in fact, you could even have uh, multiple sticky notes that you would stick on your computer. Uh, for example, one might be computer. One might be uh, another name for your computer. If you uh, have a name uh, on the network that uh, your computer is called, um, so objects can actually, in fact, have multiple names. Now, the question is, given that we have one of these values, how do we actually go about assigning a name uh, to that value? And the way that we do that is through the use of an assignment statement. And the general format of an assignment statement is just like the following. So we have name, oops, And then we have what we call the assignment token or the assignment operator, which in this case is the equal sign. And then on the right hand side, we have the value. Okay, so this is the general form that all assignment statements take. Name on the left hand side, an assignment uh, operator in the middle, and a value on the right hand side. And we can, we'll see over time that what we have on the right hand side can be become more and more complex. Um, so that's an assignment statement. So let's just take a look at an assignment statement over here in code and we'll see in our uh, active code here we have the name message and the assignment token equals and then we have a string what's up doc. Uh, here we have a simple name n and the assignment operator and the number 17 and here we have a name pi and uh, the assignment uh, operator and then the value 3.14159. So now you'll see in our print statement we can refer to those values by their name and so when we run this program um, we'll see that it doesn't print out message, it prints out what message refers to, which is what's up doc. And it doesn't print out pi, it prints out the value that pi refers to, or 3.14. All right, if we step through this with code lens, uh, that might become a little bit more clear, and uh, this is something that'll be very important, um, that you'll use code lens for over and over again um, as, you, as we write more and more complex programs, because it allows you to visualize um, the values of all the variables in your program. So if we simply step through this, you'll see on step one, we create a, we create a, a variable called message, 
and its values on the right as what's up doc. And if we step through the whole program, we'll see that we have three variables here, message, n, and pi, and the values that you would expect based on uh, what we've just done up above. All right, now, one very important thing to remember here is that this operator here is the assignment operator. All right, those of you who've had math class may think of it as the equal sign, but in fact, in, when you're programming, this assignment operator behaves very differently from uh, equality in mathematics. So, in fact, when we, when we talk about equality in programming, we use two equal signs uh, next to one another when we want to represent equality. All right, let's put a little note there so that we don't get confused, right? This, this is equality, and this is assignment. And so that's very important. All right, so... One last little thing is to talk about how does Python think about this internally. And internally, Python divides up the world into really two places. We have a namespace, and we have our object space over here. And the two we keep separate. And whenever we have an assignment statement, the name gets created over here in namespace, so for example, we have n, and the object over here, 17, lives in object space. And when we execute that assignment statement, what we're doing is we're creating a reference from the name on this side of the world to the object on that side of the world. Similarly, when we had uh, pi, we created a name in, in namespace called pi, and over in the object space, we had 3.14159, right? Now, when we executed that assignment statement, we created a reference from the name pi to the object 3.14. And remember, this 3.14, this is a float, a floating point object, that's its type, and the 17 is an int, has an integer type. All right, one last topic to talk about in this video is simply what makes up a legal name. And in Python, legal names are any names uh, that begin with uh, an alphabetic character or an underscore. All right, so names can contain, although names can contain um, numbers in them as well. In general, we, the names have to begin with either a letter or the underscore character. All right. Um, and those are really the only legal characters, letters, numbers, and underscores. Um, now, there are some names, and those names are highlighted here um, in this table that Python reserves for itself to use. Those are called Python keywords or Python reserved words. And so uh, you cannot, you can't use one of those uh, Python reserved words as a variable name. You couldn't name, a, name uh, an object if, for example, or you couldn't name uh, an object yield, for example, because those are names that Python reserves for its own use. Okay, so to briefly review, uh, we've talked about variables which we use as names for objects in Python and we have looked at assignment statements and that's how we take an object and how we assign a name to that object. Um, and so that's it for this lesson.